Yolandi, once a powerful symbol of the people of Corticus, now a ruined battlefield. Skirmishes rage from block to block as combatants of the coup of the new Republic of Corticus struggle to defend their last major stronghold. Civilians caught in the crossfire seek aid from local law enforcement, but with a staggering amount of innocent casualties, the 15th Marine Expeditionary Unit deploys its law enforcement detachment. Now, we take a look at the situation on the ground. Okay, uh, he's just coming from the east. Uh, GC is actively engaged with up four at the moment. Um, we're simply now in standby mode uh, to retrieve any EPWs uh, that, are, that are called up. Well, I just arrived on the scene here. We currently have troops that are in direct contact with the uh, with op, op four yeah, here, about a couple yeah. of blocks away yeah, from us. And so they're rotating the troops on back here. I'm just trying to assess right now everybody's um, situation. With troops in combat only a few blocks away, the law enforcement yeah, detachment uh, right digs in and prepares for enemy contact. Gather uh, civilians and bring them here, possibly. Or okay. leaders, uh, one of the two. Uh, yeah. There are already other ground forces that came through here. We assume so. We're just making sure that just nobody came in behind uh, them. Sorry, right. I'm just gonna. Uh. Okay. There's a. It's hard on that way. Hmm? There's like a radio tower down there. Okay. Alright, let's go. Okay. From the top of the law enforcement detachment's new temporary observation post, the sound of the nearby battle resounds throughout the streets of the capital. What's your message, John? Got an enemy combatant, looks to be handcuffed over an destroyed building. In addition, oh, policemen from the law enforcement detachment yeah, begin recognizing good. surrendering enemies and civilians pleading for aid. Thank you, I'll deal with it. I need a corner at the front gate. Yeah. Okay, come in, come inside. Go with bag so. has a pistol. You might want to take nope. him inside. Go ahead. Uh, can we go with our friend? No, yeah. negative. He, he is. We we would need to search you first if that works. No, that's not gonna happen. Well then, unfortunately, you can't come in with your friend. Yeah, we can wait here, right? Yeah, you can wait here. Okay, I guess we're gonna wait here then. Yeah, oh, where'd you get this at, sir? What did I get? What? Oh, your injuries. Uh, Ronaldo shot me. He cheated at goldfish and uh, and he shot me because he thought I'd cheat. Did you say you were gambling? No, no, no gambling. We play goldfish. Oh. You, you cheat at go fish? No, 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 no. Ronaldo cheat at go fish. He shoot me because he think I cheat. I see. Is that a common, uh, common practice at this city to uh, play go fish? Sometimes yes. We we play go fish to pass time. Even with the war going on outside. Yes. All right. This is his friend. Excuse me. Right, head back to your yep. across the street. After receiving medical aid from the personnel on site, civilians pass along information from the battlefield and move on. I'll, I'll take note of that, I'll send it up, and you need to go back to your vehicle, okay? Okay. Thank you. From experience, these military policemen know that anyone could be a threat, so they deploy their Explosives Ordnance Disposal Unit, or EOD unit, to clear the nearby area. From battalion headquarters, the S3 operations officer, Major Thomas, steps in to assist the law enforcement detachment's operation and becomes the ranking officer in the AO of Yolandi. Uh, please be advised in your absence, we okay, do have an active shooter in the area, uh, taking occasional shots on our location. Uh, we have just dispatched a three-man team to go prosecute that uh, threat. Uh, so, uh, advise your men uh, to uh, take good cover and stay prosecuted. Will do. Thank you very much, Ken. I was, I was running really fast, and I thought it was a staircase. <laughs> yeah, well, I tell you what, I'm gonna apply some turnips. So, is that the reporter? Yeah. 
Now, of course, the problem is that this might cause some pain for you, but I need to get you. I need to stem this bleeding. Yes, sir, of course. After a brief medical break, our crew is back on the field and just in time to witness Saber 1 receive enemy fire. I've got movement up there. Davis. Love the police guys. Jesus Christ. Okay. Sir, hold still, hold still. Get out of here. Fuck him. Him? He's dead. That son of a bitch is dead. Shock me in the face. Get the hell out of here. Carmen! As more civilian casualties come flooding in, the military policemen provide aid but ensure to keep themselves safe. Okay, Smythe, this guy's got a rifle. Which guy? This guy right here. I just, I just pulled it off, but I don't have, I don't have space for it. Hey man, some of these guys got permits for their weapons. If they're in here, they got permits, dude. Yeah, but we can't let them have their weapons on them while they're in here. No, it's Ronaldo. He's good. Let's make sure they get him back, dude. Sir, didn't Ronaldo shoot that man? He's fine. He killed. He killed enemy. He just defended his box. Hey, look at the bright side. How's Ronaldo doing? Great. You got it. I'm okay. I give you a kiss, kiss him, man. Oh, 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 oh. Hey. Too much shit. See, you live long enough to get that kiss. Oh, I, I the homosexual community thrives in the city of Yolandi. Excuse no, me. No, nothing, amigo. What did you say? <laughs> you talking shit? You're talking shit for no reason. Hey, Mar Marine, Marine, these civilians are ganging up on me. Hey, gentlemen, what's going on here? I know one thing, dude. I think we need to go back to the station and get out of here. Yeah, man, let's go. Over there, and, uh, We're going back. Hey, if you need us, if you need us, you can go on, you can go on the nine one one. Hey, it's All right, I'll pull it out. Uh, one one one. Nine one one. One nine one one. All right, we'll just one. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, we are all set up. Okay, guys, oh, okay, all right. All right, sir. They're repairing their pick. Later, as they're trying to expand their line, the law enforcement detachment is approached by a group of civilians requesting to scavenge a nearby truck in order to repair their own. Minimal. Give me an ace report, one one. 
Jesus. As secondary explosives begin detonating, the Marines begin withdrawing from the danger areas as our crew is informed to do the same thing. Upon returning to their temporary base of operations, law enforcement detachment remains under fire, yet they continue to hold the area they've secured.